Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today it is my beauty entries for March 2022 and I'm already nervous about this video. I feel quite anxious actually. Um, this is everything I had coming in last month. Um, all the beauty boxes I was sent and a couple of purchases I made myself but um, yeah I mean there's loads. I've got like Discovered Beauty I've got a Generation Glossy Box, I've got a Mother's Day Glossy Box, um, I think this is a Bijou Box, my monthly Glossy Box, I was sent something from Influence there, which is a set of skincare, I then had a Bella Beauty Box from Glossy Box as well, a couple of bits I bought, so like Glossy Box, I sent like four massive boxes, like my monthly box and then three limited editions, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff going on my head. I'm looking for like maybe a new direction for my channel. I'm enjoying my panning, but I just feel overwhelmed with everything. So let me know what you think. Um, just pop down in the comment box down below what you think. And yeah, we'll go from there. I do give a lot of stuff away, and um, but I will equally, I need to sort of try and use things up as well. But I think I might just stop all my boxes. I've ummed and nerd, haven't I, for a little while this year already. But... Let's not worry about that too much today. We're going to have a little recap of everything that is inside all these boxes, plus a couple of the purchases I've done. Each month, I break them down into different categories of hair care, skin care, body care, makeup and miscellaneous. Um, look at those numbers. And then in another video in the next day or so, I will be looking at my beauty empties and try and offset that. I have been really good this year. Um, well, this year, it's only been January and February so far, and I've kept a running total. I'll do a little screenshot here here for you now I've, I've sort of shared that over on my instagram and it's a really good way of keeping track of what i'm using up and what i've got coming in but i can tell you now that for whatever reason in march i didn't use very many products at all i seem to have fallen off the wagon a little bit i need to jump back on it and then um, start using a few more things i think i've just kind of lost my merger a little bit um I don't know. I was due to start another project pan in a couple of weeks. Not this week, next week. Um, I don't know whether to just pause that one and I'm going to be dropping out of a couple, but I'll chat about those in a separate video. <sighs> so this is everything. It's now turning to be turning into the longest intro ever. Um, I'm going to whiz the camera around and we'll start going through the boxes. Just remind ourselves about what I've got, all of these have got their own separate unboxing videos where I will talk more about the products. So if you want to see that, do go check out my playlist. But otherwise, let's go through, let's see how many of each different category I've got, remind ourselves what's in there, and then um, we'll come back and tally up all of the numbers. All right, so we are all set up. I've managed to get everything to fit in short, which is pretty good. So we'll probably have like a hair care, skin care, makeup, body care, miscellaneous. Um, it may change around a little bit as we go. We'll see how everything fits in. Um, so let's start off with the Generation Glossy Box. That's what this one looked like. Um, I'll link all the videos down below. But if you just search on unboxings, so in fact, I'll put the unboxings playlist down below and then the most re all these ones will be the most recent ones. Um, so we have got a few things. It's always good to remind myself because I do forget <laughs> what I got. So this was a body lotion from Body... What was it? Happy Naturals. It looks dead cute. Love the packaging. So yeah, that goes into body. Let's stick body at the back. And we got an anatomicals. Where are you? Oh, I don't normally film here. I'm normally downstairs in my craft room for this video. So, but I figured it's kind of working here, so I quite like it. So it is the Anatomicals Thirst Hand. So it's a hand cream. So hand cream is going to body as well. We have a Brave New Hair. And that is the Keratin Hair Concentrate. So it's a hair thing. How many hair products have I probably got? Well, I put that in. We'll put hair here. <laughs> she says, I'm unsure where I'm going. Uh, we have got a Pericon MD spot treatment. So that is skincare. So I'll put skincare there. We have got a Kinder Beauty bronzer. So a little bit of makeup. Put makeup here. We have a Holica, Holica Good Sera, so that's a super ceramide cream. 
So skincare again. This looks so lovely. I cannot wait to try this. And it is just a matte nail paint. Isn't that lovely? Looks really nice. So nails, I think go in body care. I'm sure that's where I keep them. And then we have got a, is this a cuticle oil? Yeah, a cuticle oil. This is a duplicate product. So I'll probably end up gifting this to someone. I've already got this one. Um, a Jekka Black Glow Drops in Champagne. I think this is a duplicate as well. I've already got this one, so I will probably gift this on to somebody. So there we go. Um, but that's makeup, so makeup is there. Oh, and a belly. I just thought that was a shaving brush. I was like, why have I got a shaving brush? But it is just like a little um, miniature kabuki. Um, so that will go into miscellaneous because it's a tool. Oops, and I don't count tools in my inventory. So yeah, I am trying to look at getting more in than out. I can just say how pretty this packaging was. I just absolutely loved it. Like, it was super cute. It's a really pretty box. It just reminds me of primroses and I will be keeping that box. It's so sweet. Um, we've got a Mother's Day box from Glossy Box. Again, this was gifted. The last one was gifted just for transparency. Um, this one did come with a little booklet. Usually, Glossy Box are now going sort of digital. Um, there we go. I think this was from here. This was on the carpet. I'm pretty sure. Let me just check that that sleek lip gloss, um, matte lipstick was from this box. Hmm, it wasn't. Maybe it was from the generation box. I can't remember. But I did get that coming in. So let's just pop that. I don't know where that's from. It's from one of my boxes anyway. So I'm going to just pop that into my makeup. And um, we have got some Aveda Formulant Styling Firm. So it's a hair product. I haven't had that like a, a firm, a hair mousse for so long. Oh, how gorgeous. Molten Brown. It is the Delicious Rhubarb and Rose Shower and Bath Gel. Really, really lovely. So that's body care. I love getting Molten Brown. So I get things like this and I think, oh, actually, no, I'm going to stay on the PR list. <laughs> oh, it's really hard, isn't it? It's just so overwhelming with the amount of products coming in. Goodness knows how the really big influencers manage because they must just get so much stuff. Um, this is the Feather and Down Pillow Sleep Spray. So this just goes into... <sighs> See, is it body? Is it just miscellaneous? I don't know. This is definitely something you can use up though. So it needs to go into something. I'm going to pop it into a body care. It's the closest thing I could think that it would come into. Um, it doesn't really go on as such, but it's the closest it can do. This is from Dove and it is the conditioner. I've had quite a few conditioners um, in recent months. I need some shampoos. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so it's the one minute super conditioner. So I'm interested to try that one. The Ritual of Myrrh Body Cream. Oh, Rituals is just gorgeous. Got a lot of body products, actually, which isn't bad until like February, March time. Well, so it's March, isn't it? March and April. Um, Elemis Facial Wash. I have had another facial wash from Elemis. I really liked it. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying this one. So that's some skincare. Cow Shed Hand Cream, um, one of the first hand creams I ever got from a beauty box. Back when I used to get You Beauty, which was um, a sister company of Latest in Beauty. And you used to be able to get three products, I think, three or six, I can't remember. There wasn't many, but it was a great little box. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, we have got a... It's like a lip balm from by Terry, <laughs> which I had managed to finish one, and I've got another, and that goes into makeup. We've got um Sarah Chapman, which is just beautiful, beautiful skincare brand, and this is a face mask. Some skincare, and then oh gosh, what was this again? This was Temple Spa. Look at this. Is this not amazing? This little pouch, but inside, I think it was skin cream like sun cream and things, I can't remember. I think it was a lips cream and a sun cream. 
Can I get it out? It's stuck in. Here we go. So we've got the little pouch. And then, yeah, we've got SPF moisturiser, SPF 30. And then this was a lip defence as well. So these will all go into skincare. But we have got the little pouch, which I suppose is like a miscellaneous item. But we'll keep them together. And it's a nice little thing just to keep in your handbag, isn't it? I shall take them out because then they'll get packed away. So I'm going to put the pouch in miscellaneous. And then these are both in skincare. Cool. And that is the end of that box. Quite a lot in that Mother's Day box. It was quite a nice little box. Next, we have got this Bijou box. So I've not had this for a while. So I was very thankful that they sent it to me. Very sweet of them. And in here, we have got... Oh, yes, so it was like just a little um, tea bag, um, little herbaly tea bag. So that's a miscellaneous product. We have the our remedy, pretty peaceful. So it's CBD. So is this what this is this one that the spray that you put under your tongue, the drops? I think it is. So I'm gonna pop that again into miscellaneous because it's not something I would normally use i think you are meant to put it onto your tongue let me just check yeah a couple of drops i wasn't sure about using this actually this one was um i just feel a bit strange about um using supplements and drops and things that you ingest from boxes is that a bit weird of me i don't know but anyway it is a, um, a miscellaneous product we have got the bloom and blossom body oil i just finished one of these recently and it was really beautiful really lovely and um, so this is the you glow girl performance body oil they've got like different fragrances and things so that's a body i've got the oh this was this really interesting one. so purity facial skincare candle um so you just light the candle melt like the wax and then let it cool a bit, pop it on your hand and rub it in your face. How weird. I'm um, really interested to try that. It's something very, very different. Something I haven't seen before. And then we have some... Oh, look at these, actually. Some little bath salts. I do love bath salts. Um, probably more so than bubble baths. And definitely more than bath bombs. I do love a bubble bath, but I love bath salts. And I use them regular, but these look really nice. I'd probably pop them into like a little muslin bag, I think, because um, just all the little bits of petals and things. I just always worry about them going down my drain and clogging up my drain or sticking to my skin. Um, so yeah, maybe pop it in like a little little bag, and then yeah. So that's body. Got a lot of body stuff. Cool. So that's that box. Then we had the regular monthly subscription box from Glossy again um, gifted. I'm going to sneeze. Chew. Oh, excuse. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Oh, I forgot about Oh, I can have this today now, actually. So this goes into the miscellaneous and it is a Mallow and Marsh um, vanilla marshmallow bar coated in milk chocolate. Scrummy, scrummy. I've had one of these before. Really delicious. Only 134 calories, which isn't bad. So it's massive. I mean, look how big that is. It is so chunky. How many grams are in it? Does it say 35 grams? But that's because it's light. But it is, look at it compared to my hand. It is a really good size bar. Very excited to have that. We've got some um, sleep mask tan body from James Reed. Um, a gradual tanner. Definitely give it a go before I go on holiday, I think. Um, this is a blush. I'd forgotten about this liquid blush. It looks really bright, but I've seen quite a few people using it actually, and it looks really pretty. So when I did a bit on the back of my hand, it just looked hideous, but I will certainly give it a go. It looked really nice actually, and um, really lovely on deeper skin tones too. And this, and they actually said it's from the Beauty Croc, because I just thought that was like their packaging, and it wasn't. It is um, Elikia Beauty. But yeah, I um, mistakenly said the beauty crop, I think, in my unboxing. So apologies for that. Um, oh, this also looks really nice. And this was like the Colour Change lipstick. So I'm looking forward to trying that. A little um, mood stick from Kinda Beauty. We've got, oh, Creamy Shower Foam Cocoa Cocktail from Bilou. Um, so looking forward to that. God, body section is massive. 
And then always handy to have a Magnetone Wipeout microfiber cloth. So that's a miscellaneous item, but I love getting things like this in my boxes. Not some people probably don't like to get them, but I just love them. You can never have enough. Um, and it saves using all your cotton rounds and things, and they're great for removing your makeup, using with cleansers, or you can actually use them by themselves without any water, and um, with water, without cleansers, like getting your makeup off. Um, I'll get a couple of things I've actually bought myself. Um, I've gone on to Depop, and I've wanted this for a while, so I picked up this little palette. It is the Tarte palette, and it is the Rainforest of the Sea, Volume 3. Now, you'll think this is really boring. <laughs> I've used it quite a bit. I love it. Um, and it is literally just all <laughs> really boring neutral shimmers there's one matte and then all the rest are shimmers and they're just like so gorgeous um just do a couple little really really lovely it's just like just my cup of tea um nice big mirror as well but yeah look at those so nice um yeah some people think it's boring as i say look at the packaging is it not gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. So yeah, I got that. And then I bought this because this is um you're no longer available, you can't get it. Um and it was a sort of palette from ABH. Um really, really nice. It was brand new when I got it, but the brush had been removed from it, which is fine. I've used it quite a lot. And you know, they blend so beautiful, really easy, really long lasting. I'm delighted that I've got it. This shade is stunning. Um, quite a cool palette. I normally go for warm shades. I mean, there are a few warms, but it's quite a cool toned palette. This is stunning. Absolutely. Oh, I'm delighted. I've even worn this like corally shade. Check me out um, in the crease. Absolutely delighted with that purchase. So happy. Um, this was a little freebie that you just um, sign up to get it sent through to you. Um, just a little test there. And it was a new mascara from MAC. It is the MAC Stack Mascara Super Stack Mega Brush. I've used it once, I think, at the caravan. So I'll show you because I have opened it. Really big fat wand. It's a great brush, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I'll use that a little bit more, get that finished off. But um, yeah, it's nice just to get a few little freebies. Um, there's somebody on Instagram, she sends me all little updates and things like that, and I managed to get this one, so I was really happy. And then um, this isn't the actual one, but I bought a hair oil, so I forgot to take one to the caravan, so I bought one whilst I was away, and I've left it at the caravan, but I'll just pop that here so I could count it in my numbers um because obviously it'll go into my empties when i bring it back when i've finished it but i think it might be a slightly different one but it's one of the pantent hair oils they've got quite a few now three of well maybe four or five different types usually about three pounds that I pay from savers or home bargains b&m shops like that absolutely brilliant it is an amazing hair oil i really really love it that goes in there um cool let's have a look at the bella blossom in collaboration with Glossy Box. This was another limited edition. Um, I've got, it's really body heavy. Like, look up there. It's like, oh, sorry, really, really body product heavy. A um, little bit of makeup. Not much hair. Again, hair products used to get a lot. Um, and the reasonable amount of skincare, and again, we used to get so much skincare. So I, I'm not mad at getting body products. I'm quite happy to have those. Um, yeah. Okay, so this was the Bella Blossom, so another limited edition. Um, let's have a look inside. Little reminder, lots of stuff in here. Oh yes, a super duper big, massive body butter. Um, happy to have that. It was smelled really nice, actually. Vanilla blush and peony. Gosh, just so much stuff this month. We've got a uh, This Works hand cream few hand creams. We've got an Ico mascara. It's a waterproof one. Interesting brush. I've not tried a brush design from this. It's normally the curved one. So this has got my interest. It's a little bit different from the Ico mascaras to what we normally receive. Um, a little sample perfume of Ghost. Ghost Sweetheart. So that's nice. A Skin Chemist Rose Quartz Youth Defense Lip Plump. Um, a few people commented on the video and said it doesn't really plump at all. Um, so I'll give that a go but and see what I think. 
got an Emco cheek and lip flamingo pink tint do that. I think this is like third or fourth one. So this will be going in the giveaway or being passed on. Some for Lager. Skincare, what's this? Serum double correction. So yeah, meant to sort out your wrinkles. And a little sheet mask from AHC. A mellow pen precision liner. Nice brand is Mellow, so I'm looking forward to trying that. Little Prey Decolletage Cream. We've not had these for a while. We used to get them all the time in our boxes. Um, another really pretty looking nail colour from Mavala, and it is in Brown Break. I just think that looks really, really a nice shade. And a James Reed face tan. A little spray on one there, quite handy. Put that on with, God, does that go in skincare? Does it go on with body or does it go on with makeup? I'll do it as, oh, gee whiz. Wait, which section does this go in? It's not makeup. I think I'm going to do it as skincare because I put it on when I was doing my serums and things like that. It's that sort of step that I do. So that was that one. Okay, let's have a look at Discovered Beauty. This was just insane last month. Um, also gifted to me. Gee whiz, seriously, look at this. So I'm going to just sit it here. Now, we've got a load of lip products. I've got the empty boxes here. But look at this. There were seven lip products. I'll just keep the boxes to one side. Um, so we have got... I think there was five glosses and two liquid lips. Um, look at them. Absolutely gorgeous. This is one box and it classed as one item. How crazy is that? They're all Steve Laurent. Um, there were some vari variances in the colours depending. You know, so not everyone's boxes were the same, but how cool. And they're nice shades. So, but yeah, that's going to bump up my lip product category massively. Um, we've got a toner from Vegan, and we've had a few of these in recent boxes um, from other companies, other beauty boxes. But a lot of people say it's really nice, but it's expensive. It's a very expensive toner. Got a gorgeous little wax melt. Smells really nice. Um, so that's a little miscellaneous product. Um, hand cream. How stunning, oops, is that packaging. I do get through hand creams. I'm actually getting down my hand creams really, really well. So it's nice just to be replenishing those. And the ones I don't use, I do um, give some to my dad because he gets really dry hands. And then this really gorgeous makeup bag. How gorgeous is that? That goes into miscellaneous. Try not to set it on fire. Um, and that's everything there. And then my last, Thing, I think for this month was I was sent through a box to review from Influencer, which is amazing. And it is the new Avena skincare range for sensitive skin. So happy to get this. I posted a little picture over on my Instagram. I haven't done an unboxing or anything here, but let me show you what we got. So it's an absolutely beautiful set. We've got this Avena Nourishing Oak Cleanser. So it's a Calm and Restore. 200 mils, fragrance free, looks stunning. I'm going to just be about to use this now. I need to try it and then I can write my review. So absolutely beautiful. Then we got this, um, the matching turner. Again, another 200 mils. Just looks, and Aveeno do some wonderful, wonderful creams, don't they? Especially if you've got dry skin, eczema prone skin, really nice. And oats are very, very good for dry skin conditions. Um, then we've got this serum here, a triple earth serum. Honestly, such beautiful, beautiful looking products. If you've not signed up to Influence, they just go and sign up, it's free to join. And then, you know, once you get sort of noticed and you start um, sort of linking in your social medias and things, you can get sent these little box boxes and then you just, review them for them so you get all this stuff for nothing which is amazing and then we have this 
Oh, it's gel moisturizer. I've been using this last few days, so I've just finished with my other moisturizers. And it's really nice. I want to use it in conjunction, obviously, with all the other products. But yeah, just lovely. So I'm very grateful to Influencer for those. So that's everything. I'm just going to go and add up the numbers. Let me bring you down. We'll have a little look. So here are all the body care products. And moving down, we've got all of the skincare. Quite a variety of different things there, though, between like toners and serums and moisturizers, masks, um, yeah, all different sorts of things. So it's not just one type, which is good. Makeup. <laughs> um, obviously, I purchased a couple of palettes. Those lipsticks, I've added loads in, but other than that, if you look, you can see it's again a bit of a balanced sort of thing. Quite a few lip products though. Um, so that's all the makeup, hair. Look at that. Just four products out of all those boxes. I want to see more hair care products in boxes. <laughs> Do you agree with me? Because that's just not much. And then the miscellaneous. And I just cannot wait to finish this video because I'm going to have that mellow and marsh with a cup of tea. Right, I'm going to go add up my totals and I'll be back in a moment. Right, guys. So my total numbers for March all together is 65 products. However, eight of those were the miscellaneous items. And I don't count my miscellaneous items in my total. So if we deduct those eight out, we've got 57 products coming in. Now, obviously, Glossy Box <laughs> as you know, amazing, very, very generous um, company if you are on their PR list. So obviously, that's accounted for an awful lot of these products. Um, so yeah, looking at my totals. So for body, we have got 17 body care products. Um, I'm not too mad about that, actually. They're things that I can definitely get used up fairly quickly, I think. So that's okay. Skincare obviously takes a little bit longer to use up, especially when you've got full-size products. Um, it's not so bad if they're all small like these, but when they're sort of full-size, um, it can take a bit longer to use. So I have got 16 skincare products coming in. Going down to makeup, we've got 20 <laughs> makeup items. Now I have purchased a couple of those myself. We've got an awful lot of lip products, obviously in Discovered Beauty, which really added to those. And some months there can be hardly any makeup at all. So I'm not mad about getting makeup. And it's something that I don't mind having a large makeup collection. It's everything else I kind of get overwhelmed with. And then finally we've got hair. Now I said, oh, we've only got four hair products out of all these boxes. Bear in mind, I actually purchased this myself, which means out of all them boxes, we only got three hair care products, which just seems there's a bit of an imbalance there, isn't there? Um, and I, I wonder why that is, whether it's because people have different hair care needs. Um, I'm not sure, but then they have different skincare needs, you know, so it's just, yeah. I'd like to see more hair care products, I think, in the next few months, but whether we will or not, I don't know. So yeah, 57 products I'm counting into my inventory, which is slightly concerning because I'm fairly sure that I am nowhere near, well, I know I'm nowhere near that on my empties, but I have had a good run so far this year and then, um, yeah, I'll just keep moving forwards and it has been an unusual month with all of the limited editions. I don't normally get that many. So yeah, that's everything. I hope you've enjoyed my video. I know it's a couple of days late, but yeah, I've just been taking a bit of time out really. Um, so that's it. Thank you as always for watching. You know, I really, really appreciate that. Sorry, I'm actually moving the camera around. <laughs> I'm gonna go have my cup of tea and have my Mallow and Marsh Bar. Hmm. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Mwah. Much love. Bye-bye.